All right, so here we go. It's a remarkably choreographed operation. Nearly two dozen drivers and millions of dollars of equipment. A snow team effort to keep the flights flying. It benefits the airlines, it benefits our department, and it benefits people that are flying into our airport, knowing that Mitchell Airport knows how to take care of snow. John Vozari is behind the wheel of a massive combo, a plow in front and sweeper behind. He and other members of Cobra team take one half of the runway, while Tiger team gets the other half. They clear it in one remarkable pass. Other airports come and see what we actually do and how we implement it from paper to out on the airfield. The whole operation involving over two dozen vehicles allows them to clear the runways enough for flights to take off and land. They do it in just 18 minutes. There's always whiteouts like you can see now. It's starting to pick up again. Uh, it gets pretty dangerous at times. You always got to be aware of what you're doing. The Tiger team's Dave Sweeney says they work 12-hour shifts. Planes will take off and land, and based on testing and feedback from the pilots, the snow team may keep it up almost continuously, especially when it's snowing like this. It feels great that, you know, we can keep something open for someone to go to a job, trip, you know, vacation, whatever they need to do. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good. And all those travelers so happy they're doing that work. Nick, we see that coordinated right. effort there. Pretty impressive, but the airport tells you it wasn't always like that. Right, they said about 10 years ago they brought in a consultant and engineer to study their patterns and they came up with a much more efficient way of doing it. They really bought into it and bought all of that equipment to help them cut down those runway closure times from a couple of hours down to just like 20 minutes to let the planes take off and land on time. That's a pretty good return on investment there. Thank you, Nick Bohr reporting live.